In this video, I will show you how you can pass information from one request to the other by using variables and in this way making your request a bit more dynamic. Let me explain what I'm talking about. Let's imagine that this order ID that we hard coded here needs to change with every request that we're sending. And for whatever reason, we need to go to another endpoint where it's get an order ID number and then submit our order. And we can represent it by opening another endpoint. And this is httpbin.org slash UUID. And you will see here that in the response, this value was generated. And this is something that we now want to use in our other request when we're submitting the order. And every time I send this, I get a different value here. This is exactly what happens a lot in the real world. You have a request and the response is something that you do not know in advance. And this exact value you want to take from this request and use it in the next request and in the next request or in the other any combination that you need. So we need to find a way on how to get this value from here and pass it to this request here so that instead of, let's quickly change it, instead of this one, two, three, four, we get something like this. And with every request, it changes. And this is the basic workflow I'm talking about, because if you get this principle, if you understand how this is working, then a lot of the things you need to do will be much easier later. So as I said, we are submitting this request and you need to find a way to save this information somehow. And the way we do that is by using variables. So let's switch to this test tab. And we're actually not writing a test, but we're just saving a variable. And in this test tab, we have the following. The test, everything that is inside the test here, and this is a code editor, we can write code, we can write JavaScript code actually will be executed after the request completed. So we have access to the response body. And this is quite important because we want to get this information out of the response body. And in Postman, the way you access the response body is by calling something like pm dot response. And because this is a JSON format, I can simply call the method JSON. Now, in case you're not sure what this is rendering, let's do the following. We can simply log to our console by using console.log. So let's resubmit this request. And when we're looking here, you will be able to see right below the request that was sent, an object, and this is the value. So now we know that pm dot Response that JSON gives us an object. Let's define it as response. So let's put this in a variable called response, and this will be a constant. And now we want to access a property from this object. So response is now the object that we have, and this object has a property called UID. So let's lock this again and make sure that it's working properly. I'm going to say console.log response.uuid submit a request again and here in the console you will see that this exact information is available here so now we have the information now we have the value that we want so very important we need to parse the request and then we need to find a way to get to that information and only when we have this inside the console when we know that we have the right information it makes sense to save it to a variable otherwise Let's check the steps that we did before to make sure that there are no errors there. And right here on the right side, I have something that is called snippets. And Postman offers here a couple of snippets that can be very useful when you're doing some things. And one of the things that we are actually trying to do is to set a variable. And for this, we're gonna use a global variable and there are different kinds of variables. And don't worry, we're just gonna use global for the start. So I'm gonna click here, set a global variable let's call the variable order ID and the value will be 
response.uuid. So if you're more comfortable, you can save this to a variable as well. But I think this is enough. We're parsing the response body and we're setting the UID property to this order ID variable. I'm gonna send it. And now that I send it, right here on top, you will see this icon looks like an eye. I'm gonna click on it. And you will see here under globals, our order ID has been set. And it's the same one, if you can see, as the one in the response body. So this seems to work. Now, since this information is in a global variable, other requests can access this information as well. And I will show you in a bit how it works. Now, because this request is now finished, we can just call it get order ID. I'm gonna save it in the same order management collection and it will pop right here after this. And actually we can really close it for the moment because the information will be there. So now what we are going to do is to replace this information, but make sure we stay inside the double quotes. And the way we access a variable in Postman is by using double curly brackets. So we open double, two double curly brackets and we close two double curly brackets. And inside we can type order ID. This is the information that we have, that we know that it's inside a global variable. So all I have to do now is to send this request again. And well, this is it. The order ID has been properly set and you can check that it's the same value that we have from the global variable. So now let's save this request as well because we need it. And this will be send order, the most important request in our collection, saved. And if I open the get order ID request once more, we'll see now we have another ID. I'm gonna go to send order and again, the same new ID will be posted. So this is how two requests, which do not have to know anything about one another, can send information. So the get order ID gets the order ID, then basically stops, doesn't do anything, just saves it in a global variable. And later the send order uses this information. And they do not have to be one after the other, the order of execution, but of course, the get order ID needs to happen before the send order. So there can be requests in between because these global variables will be still saved. Okay, so that's about it. In case you're wondering with this part on parsing responses and setting global variables and using these scripts, of course you can use the snippets right here, but I have a better tip for you. You can download the Postman Quick Reference Guide. This is a document that I created and you can download it totally for free. No registration or anything required. You'll see a link. I'll post you a link. And inside there you'll find a lot of information regarding the API of Postman and how to do such things as setting variables or using information from variables and stuff like that. And it's all inside here, totally free for download. Make sure you check that out. See you next time, bye bye, and just click here to continue with the next video, and subscribe right here below.